Have you ever looked at an old biplane and wondered about that big round engine on the front? That is a radial engine, and its story is one of the most fascinating chapters in aviation history. Let's take a journey from the very first spinning cylinders to the powerful giants that dominated the skies. In the early days, engineers faced a huge challenge, how to build an engine that was powerful, lightweight, and reliable. The answer came in a revolutionary design, the radial engine. Imagine this. The crankshaft is fixed to the aeroplane, and the entire block of cylinders spins around it, acting like a flywheel. This design, seen on iconic World War I fighters like the Sopwith Camel, was brilliant for cooling. The spinning cylinders created their own airflow, eliminating the need for a heavy, liquid cooling system like the Breguet 14 in the picture. It was a clever, if slightly wild, solution for its time. However, it had its quirks. The immense gyroscopic effect of that spinning mass made these planes incredibly difficult to fly. Turning one way was easy, but turning the other could be a real wrestling match with the controls. The Lerone rotary engine was a typical example. As aviation advanced, the rotary engine gave way to a more stable design, the static radial engine. This is the classic radial we all recognize. Here, the cylinders are fixed in a star pattern, and only the crankshaft spins, just like in your car's engine. This solved the gyroscopic problem and allowed for much bigger, more powerful engines. Early biplanes quickly adopted this new technology. You can see them on planes like the Stearman Trainer, where thousands of pilots learn to fly. The front view is unmistakable. That circle of cylinders with cooling fins, a symbol of the golden age of aviation. These engines were known for their incredible reliability. If one cylinder failed, the others would often keep chugging along, giving the pilot a much better chance of getting home safely. The 1930s and 40s were the heyday of the radial engine. They grew in size and complexity, with multiple rows of cylinders stacked one behind the other. Think of the mighty Pratt & Whitney Wasp series, or the 